What is the fashion mistake they've made? In the past. I think that in the past, I used to dress the way I feel like I want to dress. I don't have that much knowledge about how I should properly dress. I wasn't really mature enough then. So I was still in a phase where I was trying Think. what I feel in my mood. And I think we all go through that. After I passed through that phase, I started to make better and more conscious decisions on how I dress. Is there an outfit that you particularly remember that you're like, you? We're going to insert the picture here, if he allows. No, the thing is, if you see on my Instagram, it's... You can scroll it, on the way. I don't think I actually have scroll. something that probably hate it now. But, um, it's still cringe, it's, like... Yeah, I cringe. Ooh, what yeah, is yeah. that? That's a lot to scroll. <laughs> find one, you know, find one. No? Wasn't it cool back then? Yeah, back then it was cool, like I said. Back then, I wasn't making the right decision. And it plays a big role to who your surrounding is. Oh yeah, yeah your, your environment, friends, yeah. Environment. Those were a big role because like eventually when I got to work life, like, I got into a professional career that Things the, became people that, the people that I meet, I cannot, I cannot just show up the way I want to show up. Your impressions start to matter. Especially when I'm a lot younger than the people that I dress. Like a child. Like, like a boy and then I have to deal with a man. Why don't take this guy serious? Such a big deal. So, so last time your outfit is like hip hop vibes, I was like the bags with the cat and stuff, yeah. the full on. I, I can wear those from time to time. Like sometimes, sometimes it's good to revisit your feelings from the past. Yeah, but I understand. It depends on where I'm going. It yeah. depends who I'm with, like who am I going to meet. Yeah. So before I used to be like, oh, you know what? Wherever I go, when I was less mature, if there was a dress code. I would dress the way I want to dress. I don't care. What's okay, the dress yeah, I've done that many yeah. times. But when I look back at it, that's something that is immature. When I was in the, my rebellious years, when you're like 16, 17, when you feel like you have the most power in the world, like I was the most gothic girl ever. I was very inspired by bands. When I look back, I was trying to look like Marilyn Manson, more mature now, and Slipknot. You know the drummer, Joey Jordison? He has his hair black and then he has like red streaks. I would purposely dye my hair like that. One day, I, I painted my face half just to show my brother it was for fun. Then I was in Johor, right? And if you dress like this in Johor, it's... Uh, yeah, so I will go to the malls wow. with my friends where I the think guts, I look uh, cool. I wear a super short skirt and knee-high boots and it's platform boots with like red streaks on my hair and piercings on my face and fishnet stockings. Typical gothic gal. Everybody was looking at me with the piercing and I thought it was cool. Now if I look back, luckily I have no pictures. Do you agree that at, at, at that point that you want certain, uh, like certain attention? Funny, like when people are looking at me, I hated it. But then you ask, oh, why are they looking at me? I just want to look different, but then I don't want attention. It doesn't make sense. It was a unique feeling. If I look back at my photos, without the brows, so it's just eyeliner, it's all black. The question I ask when I look at my style back then, what was I trying to prove? When you are not at a, at a point in life where you can make 100% decisions over your life, mm -hmm. you want to show people that you can make that decision. But to show, oh, you know what, that's the rule, let me show you. This I can rule. rebel. Yes, it's a statement. If you have 100% control over your life, you no longer need the assurance like of the validation anymore. And if they get offensive, that's probably because they're really immature. If you were actually mat mature and somebody were to tell her ah, you're immature, you'd be like, yeah, whatever. Sure, you know yourself. I am, yeah. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, I guess that's a different now. Like now, my dressing, I don't want to look average. But I also don't want to be outstanding, taking attention from yeah. everyone else, not them. It's me, don't forget me, but not just shunning everybody's faces, you know, that kind of thing. I think we've already gotten comfortable under our own skin which is not easy. Uh. So you meaning like there are some days you will still wear that. Lah. The question here is, would I restyle this today? So if it's about looking gothic, I would definitely not do piercings anymore, like on my face. It doesn't go with my goals. It doesn't align with my profession. As someone that's like mental health, full piercings. <laughs> would I still wear those <laughs> boots and things like that? Please, net. I think maybe if I attend a rock show, like going to see a rock band, yeah, like yeah. I would dress all on Halloween. Halloween, I wanted to say that. Normally Halloween, yeah, that's the right place, the uh, right time, just right time. I was dressed as a Halloween girl. Interesting.